Hi, I'm Dr. Pratice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. There are aspects of um, marginalized life, I'll say it that way, people who are forced to live on the margins of society, um, whether it's subtle, whether it's overt or covert, we're on the margin, black folk. And there are subtle things that we know and do that almost everybody knows and do. I can go to a black person in Maine and they'll know the same thing that I know. And the next door neighbor won't know it. <laughs> and I'm going to share one of them with you now. And it's the concept of familiarity. You won't find it nowhere in the research. In fact, I wish people would research this concept of familiarity. Now, there are black people everywhere listening to this, saying to myself, mm-hmm, saying to themselves, mm-hmm, girl, don't tell it, don't tell it. But how are we going to get together if we don't know? And actually, familiarity is one of the things that's keeping us from getting together. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get through this story because people on the margins know what I'm talking about. We have this concept of familiarity that you can't get too familiar. You can get close, but you can't get familiar. And there's a look that comes when a person breaks into that familiar space. And that look is real simple. It's like, <laughs> every day my mother used to say, familiarity breeds content. You're like, what? The subtlety of it is so amazing that you don't even know really where that barrier is. And it could be a simple thing. Um, my brother, uh, Kevin, um, and my sister, Janine. My sister, Janine, is my manager. Now, Janine calls Kevin, Kim Barry. She's the only person that calls him Kim Barry. Nobody else can walk up calling him Kevin Barry in the presence of Janine. That's their name. He calls her Janine Anine. And one day, someone... <laughs> said to Janine, Janine and Janine, hey, Janine and Janine. And she was like, I know you didn't. <laughs> and my brother, to me, is my black brother, Kevin. Nobody else can call him black brother, Kevin. He's like, I'm not black to you. <laughs> and just thinking about it is hilarious. There are people who know me by different names. Um, people in undergrad know me by a certain name. People, and then I'll read a comment. If I tell a story about somebody in graduate school calling me by, or undergrad calling me by that nickname, then someone will say, well, that's the name I'm going to call you by from now on. I'm over here like this. Because that's familiar. You've broken the rule of engagement. You have crossed the line. It is a, You could call me other names and I'll forgive you and all will be well. I'll forgive you for your familiarity, but it's going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> it's just the craziest thing. And it is so amazing. It is so real. Um, even with neighbors and folks who you are close to and you want to be close to and there's a thing and I have seen friends of mine, it, and, and quite frankly, it cuts across racial lines. Because when you let, when black folks or marginalized folks let people into their familiar space, they don't want anybody else trying to cross that. And you, and you, you, you can see it. I have a friend at church who we were discussing something and somebody else came in and tried to get in the conversation. And she's white. And she was like, she changed the subject because she understood the familiarity between the two of us that was kosher and good, but nobody else could break that space. And it is the funniest thing. And I really, it would take, it, it, if you started at the age of 10 and died at 90, you wouldn't be finished studying familiarity. Now, many of you are going to jump in and say, oh, I know just what you talk about. I do that with my friends and you, you're not marginalized and and I'm going to be over here reading it like this. <laughs> Listen, we are going to get there. We're going to get there. And these subtle things that we know and we do that exist 
within groups. They exist within groups because we have not been allowed to be in. And so when you're not allowed to be in, you create your, you create your own inness so that you feel stronger within yourself. And the more we are allowed in the larger society, the less likely we will need to be in among just those who look like us. I want to be with those who think, feel, and love and change the world together. I love you, but don't be getting too